Hello, church. I'm coming to you today and so excited about sharing with you the direction that our church is headed and the places that we believe that God is leading Connect Community Church. So excited about this season. So excited about the doors that God is opening up for this great church and for us congregation as we move forward in what God has in 2021. You know, this last year, 2020, and up to this point in 2021, has been a very, very challenging season for so many people. And our church, it's no different. It's been a challenging season. And I want to thank you. I want to thank our church for remaining faithful in your giving, for remaining faithful in serving, for showing up at the house of God and and joining together with expectancy and anticipation of what God's going to do. It has been a blessing to me to see our church stick together, pull together, and to bring us along through this very challenging time. And as challenging as 2020 has been, the future of this great church has got me in a place of excitement that I've never been before in the ministry. I realize that God is affording to this church and to you and to our leadership team an opportunity that our church has not seen for many decades. This gets me all giddy inside. It gets me excited to get up in the morning, get over over to the church and to work and to pray and to believe and to strategize and to have vision for where we are headed. With that being said and all the excitement Uh, that is inside of my heart and inside of our leadership team, I want to refer to the last year and, and make sure that I give the proper thanks to people that have carried the weight of the church being in person for this last calendar year. We've had a very small group of volunteers literally carry the load, both in ushering and greeting and in kids' ministry primarily, a small group of of people uh, that we've asked to go above and beyond have carried the weight of this church and the volunteerism in Connect for the last year. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You've made church possible during this wicked, challenging time. And I I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for staying with us, for helping us, to help us bridge this gap into a different season. And you've carried a weight for a long period of time, things that we would never ask our normal volunteer base to do. You've done it. And so I am eternally grateful and thankful for what you've done during this time. Thank you so much. As we look with eyes to the future, there is going to come a time, and I don't believe it's going to be too much longer, that our church is going to have to go full-blown again with everything that it offers. You know, as my staff and I were sitting down and talking about what's going on in the world right now and how we see the coronavirus pandemic starting to change and eventually wind down, we realized that on the front edge of things going back to normal, that there's going to be a frenzy of activity that we want to be ready for. All the vacations that we were planning that we weren't able to go on this year, people are going to plan. You know, the places that people wanted to go this last year that they couldn't go, I believe people are going to go to those places. And I believe on the front edge of the pandemic ending, ending there's going to be this crazy amount of activity, activity happening in people's lives. And with that in mind, we want to be ready as a church. We're gearing up for Easter. We have something planned for Easter that's going to be amazing for our children. I'll tell you, there's just something inside of my heart that wants to do something for our kids that have had to wear masks for an entire year and sometimes stay away from their friends or stay away from school or not go do some fun things. Man, I have a passion in my heart to produce something that's both going to be safe and exciting for our kids. And so the whole end of our church 
we're going to decorate into this magical kind of mystical garden that will capture our kids' imaginations and tell them the story of Jesus. And I'm super, super pumped about it. I had the privilege of telling my own granddaughter, like, hey, listen, there's a great secret, man. We're going to plan this thing for Easter, and you're the first kid to know about it. And she was jumping up and down in excitement for what Easter was going to hold. And so we are looking so forward to Easter. We're looking forward to producing something that represents a certain level of normalcy. And so as we think about the future, we realize that, man, things are going to open up at some point and there's going to be this frenzy of activity and we just want to be ready. So over the next five weeks, I'm going to be sharing and Patty may be sharing about where we're headed in the immediate future. What we need to get ready for as crowds come back and people come back and people come to our area to visit our beautiful city. I'm going to be sharing what I feel like in my spirit we need to do as a church to get ready for this very exciting season that Connect is headed into. So one of those things is getting our volunteer base back to where it was pre-pandemic. We want to be able to take care of our children. We want to be able to give our children the best that we possibly can. We have vision. We have dreams of making our kids' area and our kids' ministry the best in this entire region. We're not in competition with anybody, but we have a clear vision of where we want this thing to go and the excellence that we want to achieve for our children and for our guest children. We believe it's attainable. We believe that it's something that can happen that's right before us, and we're working to that end every day. So that includes being able to minister to our kids. We're having four weekend services, Easter weekend, and we could use as much help as we can get. We've already started to train people and talk to people about what's happening on Easter weekend, and we're excited about that. But we as a leadership team are using Easter as both a deadline and a focal point to try to get our church back to being full-blown open, post or pre-pandemic open. And so we're working to that end. And again, over the next five weeks, I'll be sharing different aspects of our church that are going to be returning to normal, and the time frame for those things. I know that you're probably just as excited as any of us are about the pandemic ending and us getting back to some level of normalcy. Man, our prayer is, is that your life, your business, your family life, if your kids are in school, all of that will look much different in a very short time, maybe a few months. That's our prayer. That's what we're believing And so as we pray together and we plan together for what Connect is going to be in the next season, would you join with us in agreement that God's going to do great and mighty things? I have such expectancy for the season that's coming. God has lined up just like he said he would over our church. He's lining up so many things to put us in the best place that we have been in nearly four decades. Can't help but get excited about that. And you're a part of this. You're going to be a part of what God's going to do. So would you join with us in agreement and prayer that God would help us to reestablish some of the foundational ministries of our church as we move towards being open, full-blown, in a very short time. Well, God bless you. We'll come again next week with another message about where our church is headed in the immediate future and what we're trying to do to get ready to be open fully. God bless you, and we'll talk to you next week.